Not gonna lie, this is a project I have been dreading. Welcome back to another Desert Bath Co. vlog. My name is Tiffany, and if you're new here, I make all things handmade bath and body out of my home in Gilbert, Arizona. Usually I'm in my basement, but today I am upstairs working on a little display project. You've probably seen my video where I make the 3D plastic bubbles for my bathtub display at one of the retail shops here in Gilbert, Arizona. Here's what's been happening. This has been sitting around, this has been sitting around the bathtub display at one of the retail shops. And over the last year, people have stepped, poked, pushed, and squished these. And now it's kind of a mess. I've even tried to go as far as bringing a bike pump to the retail shop to blow these back up. And I will say it worked for a while until I found myself doing this every week and it was almost like a full-time job. Something's got to change. We are going to change what we're making these out of and completely revamp this situation so that our retail display can look good as gold again. Luckily, I was able to salvage a lot of these, but I do have a bag full of crushed ones. Let me know if you have any ideas for what I could do with these. I would hate to just toss them. So with these plastic balls that I used previously, these would be great if they're gonna be hung up somewhere and away from where fingers and toes can get to them. Um, they are still a great solution for if you're trying to just throw together some 3D bubbles. However, if you want something more permanent, then follow along. I've got a new idea for you. We are going to use plastic ornaments. And they actually come in halves. So you have to put the two pieces together. And then I bought a little like clear round um, sticker so that I can put that right on the bottom so that it doesn't bust open at any point. These have a nice little tab on the top with a hole so you can hang them and use them as ornaments. But in this case, I'm going to use that to string these together. But this comes with a set of 50. It's gonna be an assortment and it's about $17 on Amazon and I will link that in the description below. So I'm not using fishing string this time. I'm using just a regular white, red, Literally two for a dollar at Walmart because it's way easier to tie and just cut really short so that you can't really see it that well. And then I will put a little sticker down here at the bottom to keep that bottom area shut and prevent it from breaking open. I'm going to do one with, and this is where it gets kind of messy. I'm just trimming off a little bit so I can poke it in there. Now for the big reveal. What do you think? Now, I just tied a bunch of random ones together. There is no rhyme or reason to this configuration. I just wanted it to be completely random, and then I tied it together. These look way more realistic than those other ones did. So cool. Now for the next challenge, which is putting the bubbles on the tub at the retail shop, which I preferably like to do 
really early in the morning before the store opens or really late at night after it has closed. I like to sneak in. I don't like disturbing customers and being in there messing with my display when people are trying to look and shop. We are gonna head over to the sip and shop and get these bubbles put back on that tub. Good morning. Headed out to get these bubbles put on this display. Finally, but first, coffee. Oh, it just touches your soul. Now that we've got our go-go juice, let's get to the store. Made it to the sip and shop about an hour before they open. If you guys haven't seen this place and you are in the East Valley in Arizona, please come check it out. There are tons of local vendors in here and there's so many unique items and it's a super cute place. And here we are at my tub display where you can see it is in much need of some bubbles. are on the tub. We put our little vinyl graphic on there too. Our cute little saying. And it's time to head home and make some stuff. I appreciate you all for joining me as I revamped our 3D bubble display. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you're not already, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-